If I didn't see it, I wouldn't have believed it. So, yeah, apparently there's always that one extra gatekeeper for an organization and people get upset over being gatekeeped against and they're trying to pro-join the, the organization. Fuck that noise. My attitude is simply this. At 13, I figured it out. So you're talking 83. When you see contradictions of existence, it doesn't say what it meant. It didn't mean what it said. So at that point, you just kind of take what you can use, make use of it, and move on. People are talking about, you know, trying to join the Church of Satan, but they get discouraged by an occasional rogue member who's a little pissy and big and high and mighty about themselves. That's themselves. It's not a reflection against or for you. You just do your own damn thing. But a lot of people lose that grasp. They're just too focused on the church. They're equally focused on the church like the church is actually focused on the satanic temple. If you actually kept in your own fucking lane, you won't have to worry about what other people think. And at that point, then you then you can be awarded the, the, the Satan button. Because why? Because if you're worried about what other people think, even those that are in the church of Satan, you know, you got a problem. You got to know who you are as a person. You got to know who you are philosophically, your own morals, the whole nine yards. But to have some people out there to try to discredit you or discourage you, fuck them. Who cares? And the tactics I have to use to shut a group of them up, I assure you, they are having something to hide because obviously they felt comfortable behind a cartoon character to fuck with you. So... With that said, that's why when I tell people you have options, check out the link in my bio, link in my description. It's because there are options. There's over 300 organizations out there. And no matter who says what, you discover on your own, yeah, there are denominations of the Church of Satan out there that are less, um, or a better intelligence, or acting as such, boom. I had somebody on YouTube actually comment on one of my videos stating, you know, you can't judge a ch charge, you can't judge an organization by, a, a, you know, a bunch of a few, a few people. But that's the problem I have with organizations. If you're going to call yourself a church, a temple, a synagogue, a pylon, you don't police your own, then what good are you? You know, that's the problem. I never liked organizations. I never liked unions, as an example, because that was their problem. Or the form of nepotism within the organization is just as disheartening as well. Because the ideals that you believed in or thought you believed in are now trickled away to basically a handful of people who are cliquish. So there you have it. That's why when I you make reference to the old ways, the old school of Church of Satan, regarding of the Church of Satan, my words hold true because I'm going verbatim against some, you know, by somebody from the 80s, 90s, and I'm fighting with somebody of today or the late 90s. That's why I don't really give two shits about the Church of Satan, and that's why I voice my opinion highly criticizing them they don't like it but you know what when i can hear my own words come back to me from blanche barton and even peter gilmore in different timelines whoever argues with me is subpar beneath me and by all means a gatekeeper of nothing they didn't create anything so there you have it but i just saw it today just a moment ago Someone was crying and pissing about a gatekeeper over some other person's life who was a member of the Church of Satan. Who cares? If you're going to keep your lane, do your thing, and, and survive by your own merit, call yourself a Satanist. And if the Church of Satan finds that you're worthy enough to be a part of their little world, so be it. If not, do your own thing. The irony is, I've been doing my own thing for quite some time. I've been boisterous this past year over it, and I got to meet a lot more new people. And yes, 
be it theist, polytheist, be it a spectrum of deism and pan pantheism, all Satanism I welcome, and all Satanism I learn from. Quite frankly, there are a lot of parallels. There are a lot of variables. There are caveats of, of similarities and differences. The thing is, when you want to talk about one major component, not everybody's asking $225. So with that said, make your own mind up. But that's the problem. If you're too hyper-focused on one organization and you believe in their rhetoric that there is only one organization, then you're doomed. You might as well be a Christian. Be a Catholic. They, they seem to be that way, and, and, and they'll take you. you know, in fact, I think they've even lightened up a bit. But my attitude is simple. Find your way. Be your way. And of all things, don't let anyone get in your way. Be a Satanist and hail Satan.